in the lightweight division. Antonio Faria versus Mike Yine. Back we go for the official introductions. See Faria first out of his corner, taking center of the ring. Yine meets him. The sportsmanship, touch of hands, round number one. Blue for Yan, red for Faria. Hard low kick from Mike Yan. Body kick. Yan acknowledges it. Already a lot of feints early on, Joe, from Mike Yan. Yeah, he's landed a couple really good shots and one headbutt already. Early pressure from Yain. Faria already pushed into the role of the counter puncher, trying to be the aggressive counter puncher with a head kick in the right hand. Good start to this lightweight fight. See the much taller, more European stance for the fighter from Portugal, Antonio Faria. Yeah, he just snuck in that nice left high kick up there, barely missed with an elbow. Faria is starting to get more comfortable in there. Yain off the jab, Faria to get her big punches! To the plum and the head kick, Yain smiles and nods. He ate that flush. Yeah, you notice big that right hand. Faria comes in aggressively, almost like he forgot that there were headbutts and took one right to the chin. It's a good fight there, they're really mixing it up. And the half plum, the turn, and the body kick. Legal technique, effective technique for Faria. Yain almost seemed surprised that he was turned out of that clinch. Yeah, you know, we, the clinch is a little bit different here. Because of the headbutts, it tends to be more chest to chest, not as much of what we call like a tight clinch or a club. Spinning back elbow, spinning back fist the other direction. These two are really mixing it up. This is one for the highlight race so far. 145 gone and a frantic round number one. Getting the nod and smile from Yain. The headbutt on the inside from Yine and another. It's not the forward headbutt so much in this sport, it's those side headbutts. Yeah, it's, it's not what you'd expect until you watch it. It's much more technical than I thought it was going to be when I saw it for the first time. They're very short and effective. A lot of times, cause cuts over the tops of the eyes. Sometimes so fast they're hard to see. See the swelling on the forehead, and down goes Mike Yine. Hold is a slip. Yine on his forehead above his right eye. Big hematoma. Pocketed with blood in the forehead. Head kick just misses from Korea. Yine firing back. Body kick lands. Front deep from Yine. Front deep from Korea. Korea with the elbow. He's doing a really good job of landing those elbows in from the clinch. Like I said, his, his clinch is a little bit different than the typical style here at the WLC. He's had a lot of success so far with that. Yine literally sprinting forward into the pocket. Final second of an outstanding round number one. The acknowledgement between the two fighters, the smile. We're headed to round two. That was outstanding. See some of the action here. Right in the opening, big leg kick. Faria was always answering, though. Every time he got hit with something, he answered right back. You could show a highlight of the whole first round right here because it was nothing but action. These guys mixing it up, high and low. Punches, knees, kicks, elbows. Saw some headbutts mixed in. A little bit of everything in that round. Sneaky little headbutt there. A lot of good clinch work in this round. Korea is more from distance in the clinch, but it's like he forgets sometimes that he can get headbutted in here and he gets reminded each time he's in that clinch and he takes one. Very emphatic in the Portuguese speaking corner, Antonio Faria. Big support for Yain, but real respect for Faria. Well, that was the three minutes of the night thus far. We're early stages. Bat number two of seven total. Two, two title fights still to come. WLC five knockout war. Round number two, Mike Yain versus Antonio Faria on tap. Right back to work. 
Long straight punches in the head kick. Yain takes shots, nods, and then moves forward. That's been his way thus far in this fight. Big body kick. Freya starting to use his length really effectively, catches that kick. Not a sweep, but just a dump. Short right hand from behind in the body kick. It's time for Rhea Nimes. You see the length, you see the body kick. Length in the punches, length in the kicks. Yeah, he's doing a good job. He's keeping the eye on the outside, but then when he tries to crash in, he's getting met with elbows. Really good job by Faria, good timing. We're doing a good job of mixing it up. Faria, now at range. Just missed with that head kick. Low kick from Yain on the counter. Yain again comes forward with pressure. Right hand from Yain. Those are big punches from Faria. Step in knee. Spinning back elbow just over the top. Yain to the inside in the clinch. Faria to the full plumb. And again the turn twice. Now we've seen him do that effectively in this bout. I think it's just a difference in the clinch work, you know. There's not a lot of that longer clinch work here because of the headbutts. And Faria's had some success once he gets there. He's landed some good elbows, had some good sweeps. You just got to be careful about getting headbutted from the range. 15 remaining, round number two. That's up from the line, barely lands. Big swing of the race for Faria. Definitely spinning back fist, good fighting. Left hand again from Yain. Heating up again. Oh, those are powerful punches. The body kick. More big straight punches from Faria. Lands that left. Getting the clinch. Faria will try to explode once more out of the clinch on the throw. Can't do with that time. 40 seconds remaining round two. There's the headbutt from Yain. What he knows now from Faria. the front teeth. Three through the teeth, landed, then moved backwards. Now big knees to the body from the full plump from Korea. Outstanding fight, big elbows. Those are good elbows, but Yain seems to walk right through a lot of Korea's damaging blows. Yain cut badly, now above his left brow, eats that knee. That is a nasty slice. Has the swelling over his right eye and that nasty cut above his left eye. More big elbows from Faria. That is the end of round two. Yeah, absolutely. And we saw Faria that round doing a really good job of using his elbows. There we see a kick to the body, exchanged a lot of punches, but the big cut was caused from the elbow range. And, and Faria has done a great job of mixing that up, not throwing just horizontal, throwing up elbows and in elbows really keeping it fresh with all the different angles on his elbows, and that's why he's been able to have a lot of success with that. Big right hand from Yain there. Just like earlier, every time Faria gets touched, he gets hit with something good, he tends to just answer right back off that. That's like what you like to see out of a fighter, especially when you're not in your hometown. Big swing and a miss there, and Yain made him pay. Closing in on the start of round number three. Yain not yet out of his corner. You see Faria standing in his. Mouthpiece in for Mike Yain, he is ready. Round, Round number three. three. Yain opens with a low kick just as he did in round number one. Step in right. Down goes Jean, and that's ruled a slip. Off balance on the right hand. Second time Jan has been down in this fight. Both times off the slip. Jan lands the big left there. Spinning back elbow from the wastage. Jan now stepping into the floor. Kick caught. Down off of the kick. Across the halfway line of round three in this fight. 
Jan really taking himself down there to avoid the head kick. Yeah, I've been noticing that. You know, it's not a terrible idea when he gets his foot caught instead of taking the, the shots that are going to come after that. He just kind of takes a dive from having his foot caught and that allows him to get back to this, you know, neutral fight instead of fighting one legged. This fight very much becoming about range. He wants to be mid range to the outside. Jan wants to be mid range to the pocket. Swing and a miss from Faria. Lead left hook, counter right hand, and a left to the body from Antonio Faria. Young guy running right back into the pocket. Body lock for three again. You'll see him try to explode and turn. First is separation. Young yeah, is definitely thinking, spinning back elbow in that sequence. Right a chance to throw, and eats that right hand, and another. Now a big elbow, that's just what his corner was talking about. Those slashing, thudding elbows strike for Maria. Over under on the clinch, again the separation. Maria did a good job once he got into that range to really do it as much damage as possible. And the eye of the eye looks like it's a mess. Final seconds now, round number three. Phenomenal thus far. Mike Yai versus Antonio Faria in the lightweight division. Down on the turn. That's not the end of the round. Again, this is going to be a cut assessment by the medical personnel. See Faria bleeding out of his left nostril. Breathing very heavily. Faria reacting as though he has won this fight. No official confirmation yet, but Faria's corner is in. And that is it. This fight has been stopped. The ringside physician determining that cut too bad for Mike Yine to continue. And that will go down as a TKO win for Antonio Faria in his World Black League Championship debut. Yeah, and just like we said too, now listen to the crowd. You know, they were definitely here rooting for Yine, but they're giving him plenty of a round of applause there. Great fight. First fight for Faria in the WLC. Really made use of his elbows, and that's what did the most of the damage over Yine's eye, and that earns him the victory. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of insanity, the referee has stopped the fight. Your winner, via TKO, from the red corner,